This video is about a German terrorist organization, the Red Army Faction, to be precise about the first generation. The period during which the first generation was active lasted from 1970 to 1977. It all started with the violent freeing of Andreas Bader and ended in the suicide of the remaining leaders of the first generation, Bader and Sin Raspe. Apart from these mentioned terrorists, important were Ulrike Meinhof and Holger Mainz. So the background. At the end of the 60s, the German society enjoyed a very good level of information through mass media. Furthermore, the, li the living standards and the education standards were very good. Nevertheless, left-wing socialist movement were growing th throughout the 1960s. For example, the extra-parliamentary opposition and the student movement. And within these left-wing movements, some groups became more and more radicalized. They wanted to end uh, the Western imperialism and free the suppressed masses. But please note, the societal and political conditions in the late 60s clearly contradict these radical opinions. Now to the events. In 1968, there were two arson attacks on department stores in Frankfurt and um, the offenders were very quickly caught, sentenced to three years, they appeared and then used um, this to escape to Italy. But they did not only go into hiding in Italy, they continued their, their journey to the Middle East and uh, got a military training from Palestinian terrorists. Bader and Ensling returned to Berlin to start a terrorist campaign there. But very, very quickly Bader was arrested and now he had very good conditions whilst he was imprisoned. He, he was pretending to write a book with Ulrike Meinhof and was then on a day released and there he was violently freed. Most historians say that was the hour of birth of the uh, Red Army faction. Also now there was the first public appearance and publication of the RF strategy Urban Guerrilla. In the next years, uh, one and a half years, there were several bank robberies and the Red Army faction took no prisoners, if you will. They were shooting the way out of the situation without considering any civilian casualties. In May 1972, they started their May offensive with attacks on US forces stationed in Germany, the German police, a judge and a conservative media company. But a month later, in June 1972, the leaders of the RF and more terrorists were arrested. And then they went on hunger strike and claimed, oh, we're tortured here. Holger Mainz died during such a hunger strike. And these aspects are very, very well used in propaganda, uh, in the propaganda of the Red Army faction. And the left wing scene had then formed sympathies for the terrorists. Ulrike Meinhof committed suicide in 1976 and a year later uh, Bader Anthony Russell was sentenced for, to life in prison for multiple murder. Now the second generation of the RAF abducted Hans Martin Schleyer, the president of the employer um, organization and, and demanded the release of the imprisoned comrades. Furthermore, Palestinian terrorists hijacked a Lufthansa flight to support their um, Red Army faction comrades. But Germany sent the legendary GSG-9, the hostages of freedom Mogadishu, uh, the imprisoned leaders of the first generation thought and that is now very desperate the situation. They committed suicide, but unfortunately, tragically, Hans Martin Schleyer also was murdered. Now, at the end of the first generation, the German um, society was divided. The majority rejected this terrorism, left-wing terrorism, but in the left-wing scene there was support and understanding. And furthermore, uh, the second generation could uh, grow, especially because of this hunger strike uh, campaign and such things. The terror continued and intensified, but also the parliament passed tougher laws and the government now um, 
took uh, tougher and stronger measures against terrorism to maintain inner security. That was the first generation of the Red Army faction in five.